Summer vacations on a private yacht are a great way to relax and enjoy the sun. You might even hire a private plane and fly to a faraway island where you could spend a month in complete solitude. A penthouse apartment like the kind the wealthy Carlton might have would satisfy if you're more conventional. However, a palace is your only option if you're searching for something more fit for actual royalty. Fortunately, you don't need to be a member of the royal family to have a wonderful time in a castle. You may require a regal bank balance, but that can be fixed pretty swiftly. European castles and chateaus aren't merely impressive architectural feats, but also cultural centers. Billionaires often utilize them as second homes or getaways. Welcome to Luxury Wire, where we explore the incredible feats mankind has achieved. And in today's video, we'll look at the 10 most luxurious castles in the world. Drumalone Castle at number 10 The Drumalone Castle in Ireland is a historical marvel that nevertheless manages to provide all the conveniences of today to its guests. It's designed in a gothic revival style with high walls and a winding driveway. The building's rich blue limestone and the surrounding grounds and forests total about 1,500 acres. Beautiful views of the gardens and lake may be seen from the luxurious furnishings. The suites are 160 square feet and feature a relaxing color scheme of duck egg blue and gold throughout the living area, bedroom, and bathroom. The main bathroom has a luxurious freestanding slipper tub and a spacious double shower for the perfect conclusion of the day. Chateau Le Crayeris in France comes up at number 9. Chateau Le Crayeris is ideal if you're searching for a relaxing getaway with a classically French flavor. The castle's spacious 17 acres augure a life fit for a king. When you enter, you'll be greeted by a dazzling array of marble stairs, framed oil paintings, plush wall coverings, and polished antiques. The chambers are just as grand in appearance with thick Rococo curtains and luxuriously patterned fabrics. These all can provide a beautiful weave of opulence. The service you expect to receive matches the high quality of the hotel surroundings, so you can expect to find antique furniture and a selection of Hermes toiletries in your room. The hotel has a 24-hour concierge service and can set up a variety of outings for you, from golfing to horseback riding. At number 8 is the Neuschwanstein Castle. We wouldn't blame you if you thought you just stepped into a Hollywood-esque fairy tale movie. Few places look as picturesque as the Neuschwanstein Castle. With its towers, frescoes, and throne hall, the castle looks like it was plucked right out of a Disney movie in Bavaria, Germany. The court was designed to be a retreat for the reclusive King Ludwig. Its cliff-edge setting provides a brilliant alpine backdrop perfect for photos. The inside even has a Disney-esque passageway of artificial rocks and flowing waterfalls running along the castle's corridor. Sadly, the castle still isn't finished. Of the 200 rooms that were supposed to be made, only 14 were completed, but those 14 are stunning. The most unique space is the Hall of Singers, which features a design inspired by Loring and Parsifal. Intricate and magnificent paintings by Wilhelm Hull er of Jesus, the Twelve Apostles, and the Six Canonized Kings adorn the walls of the Throne Hall. At number 7 is the Enverlochy Castle Hotel. When visiting Balmoral in 1873, Queen Victoria remarked about the castle's blocky appearance. She reflected on her time at the breathtaking court, writing, I never saw a lovelier or more beautiful setting that sets the tone for your stay. A dreamlike setting at the base of Ben Nevis, the castle is situated in the scenic Scottish wet highlands with undulating hills, low-hanging clouds, and lush green gardens. It is unlike any other getaway. Beautiful four-poster beds and breathtaking vistas can be found in each suite's individually crafted decor, which strikes a delicate balance between classic and contemporary tastes. A custom collection of Penhaligon's Quercus products and sheets made from Egyptian cotton with a thread count of 400 by designer house Peter Reed are included in your stay. There are three ornate dining rooms where you can enjoy a menu designed by Albert Rue's son. Another interesting fact about the Inverlochy is that the Norwegian king donated these furniture pieces to the palace. Hearst Castle and Estate in California is at number 6. Luxurious mansions may be found in abundance across the Golden State. The homes that Hollywood stars and computer moguls are constructing are grand enough to be dubbed palaces. They may add as many wings and pavilions as they like, and still nothing will ever match the Hearst Castle. Julia Morgan, the first female architect in California, was responsible for designing this vast 165-room mansion. The intended recipient was William Randolph Hearst, a publishing mogul. It's the very essence of luxury. The 127-acre grounds around the castle are beautiful, with tiered gardens, tall palm trees, and glistening fountains. 
There are beautiful treasures spread across the buildings and grounds, and Hearst had an insatiable appetite for fine art, antiquities, and handmade fabrics. Sculptures of the Egyptian goddess Sekhmet and the sun deity Ra date from the 14th to the early 18th century. They are so rare and valuable that visiting them may double as an educational experience. Posada Castillo in Obidos, Portugal is at number 5. Besides outdoor adventures like hiking and horseback riding, this castle from the Middle Ages boasts charming hand-painted tiles and big rooms decorated in the style of ancient Portugal. Designed in the Manuel style, the fortress was built in the early 16th century. The court's 17 suites, which bear royal names, have been whitewashed and furnished with blue and white pieces. The four poster beds are complemented by tea tales such as the Azulejo tile baths. Aside from its many bedrooms, the castle also features several unique living areas decorated with armor and medieval artwork. It's easy to see why the Portuguese royal family made here their summer residence for hundreds of years. At number 4, we have the Kentucky Castle in Versailles. The American castle is a symbol of infinite farms and bourbon stills. This place has everything a vacationer might want. This stone building from 1969 features an entrance through a wooden door that is 12 feet in height. The castle has 12 opulent rooms and 4 cottages and is situated on 50 acres. Every cottage has its own fully equipped kitchen, a relaxing jacuzzi tub, and a spacious deck from which to take in the panoramic views of the surrounding fields. In addition to the original farm-to-table meals provided by Castle Farm, guests may relax in spacious stone baths and romantic sitting areas. They grow 90% of the food they sell here. Tennis and basketball courts are also available for those who want to work off the calories consumed over the past several days, while billiards, a library, and a ballroom are also available for those who prefer a more relaxed atmosphere. The third most visited tourist attraction in France is the Palace of Versailles. An impressive art collection is a great way to flaunt your status and fortune, so at least the designer of the Royal Chateau in Versailles had hoped. The grounds are an astounding 86.1 million square feet, filled with beautiful green grass, fountains, and garden ornaments that have been meticulously maintained. There are over 2,000 chambers on the interior, and while only a select few are exposed to the public, you will see the greatest of them. 357 mirrors are adorning the walls of this particular hall of mirrors. Ornate paintings, gold leaves, and crystal chandeliers adorn the ceilings. There are several galleries here that seem like they belong in the Louvre. The royal couple's bedroom has all the trimmings too, a four-poster bed, priceless artwork, and luxurious drapes covering the walls. Naturally, every chamber is a marvel, and if you need fresh air, the palace grounds have a pond and a river where you can go boating as well as some magnificent sculptures. In second place is the Schönbrunn Palace near Austria. It is a shortened run court in Vienna that was the main summer house of the Habsburg emperors. It's one of the world's most recognizable landmarks, cultural centers, and architectural wonders. It features a whopping 1,441 guest rooms. Over 300 years have passed since this palace was built, and since the 1950s, it has served as a major tourist attraction. The main gallery extends more than 40 meters, making it a suitable venue for court events. Beautiful paintings on the ceiling and intricate gold swaths against gleaming white walls transport you to an era when royal balls were commonplace. The bedrooms include a Schweinfurt and Habermann's Rosewood Rococo Revival furnishings. There are probably a lot of secret tunnels you may check out if you pay a ticket. Since it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, unfortunately, you cannot stay in this castle. The top spot then goes to Ashford Castle. The price tag on Ashford Castle makes it the priciest castle in the world. Ashford is a castle that has been there for about 800 years, located on a 350-acre estate that features beautiful gardens, historic trees, and an emerald lake. It boasts 83 luxurious suites plus 6 restaurants and 3 bars with a team of award-winning chefs. Each of the 83 rooms showcases timeless elegance, combining the castle's original features with the latest modern luxuries and amenities. The antique furnishings and sumptuous textiles on the beds and walls speak to the owner's keen eye for design. This spacious estate features luxurious accommodations and opportunities to go hiking, boating, shoot bows and arrows, and even learn the art of falconry. They include a spa with seashell chandeliers and cutting-edge equipment for those who want a quieter experience. Ashford Castle also features a cinema room that can be reserved for a private screening of your favorite film. If we're talking about movies, some A-list actors including Pierce Brosnan, Brad Pitt, and Russell Crowe have stayed here. Where are you planning to go next? Leave a comment and let us know. Please click the like button too and subscribe to our channel if you found this video entertaining.
We appreciate you watching and hope to have you back for more soon. We'll see you next time.